hey guys welcome back to another new video i literally just finished filming this location and a different location which you're going to be seeing pretty soon if not i think tomorrow so the address will be in the description box below they had some really really good plans this was a pretty far location um but it was really worth it girl but you see they had this beautiful hoya i believe it's called the tricolor hoya because it has three beautiful colors and it was just so pretty of course the burden is fern you will see some comments um i actually enjoy looking at them but i know and i know some of you guys do too but i know there's also other people that want to see like really rare plants so i actually do have a very fun plant shopping video of like rare actually like really fine like, plants that you won't even see in the big box stores or local nurseries it's called green gates so you can check it out on my channel it's a really really fun location and my brother is gonna tag along with us so that's why i have it slowed down because i was talking with him about plants and just stuff and um i know you guys like when i slow it down like a voiceover <clears throat> so i got my little double shot espresso with my cup of ice get a pour it right now but there's these beautiful skin i've been seeing a lot of these y'all these are so pretty they're actually really really pretty i used to hate them because they would get super duper leggy and i do not kind of like that aesthetic i do not like that but um Somebody commented it makes a lot of sense. It is true. You just gotta give it more light. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna get my iced coffee. I need this. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video, get it up ASAP, and then make some chicken alfredo. I'm teaching my brother how to make or how to cook since he's in summer right now. He's been staying over. Yesterday we made lasagna and throw leches. And today we're gonna make some chicken alfredo. They're, they're, okay, so next to was the Radisson Calatia. The one that I just touched was the Tridiscan TI. And um, this one is the Potos Enjoy. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Look at all of these beautiful plants from Life Trends. They're literally killing it, y'all. Like, they have some really, really pretty plants. And then with these really fancy like planters, some girls said it's like tie dye, like that's what it's giving. It's these are like perfect for gifts, like perfection. And um, I would honestly buy some of these as like gifts. I don't really, I never really do that, but like I should like I should give like I think my, my brother's his birthday's coming up. I'm gonna get him a gift card and a plant. I think that put those in jail would look super duper cool in his room, and it does. It's really easy plant to look after, so. And I'll teach him how to like water it, like when to water it. And then it has like a catch pot, so like, he doesn't need a saucer or like put it to the restroom. He can just water it where it's at. So that's what's really, really cool about a lot of these plants that have catch pots. They're a little bit pricey, but again, the planter is really, really cool. It's like really cool. I love it. And there's again more, like there's a pot, uh, neon potos right there. Look at that. A great low light plant. That's pretty good. And indoor lighting. Um, it will grow faster outside in the shade, but and this Brazil. Oh my god, guys! I know they're common, but like they're just so full and lush. Like they look so good. Like oh my goodness! <gasps> this is one of my pretty, one of my favorite planters. I like this aesthetic. The other ones are really, really pretty too, but I like how simple it is. It lets the plant shine. It's not too distracting, but the other plants are really, really cool. There's a barricaded umbrella plant. I think Cosa has it labeled as a different name, but... Wait, I said umbrella. Yeah, it's, it's an umbrella. Or Schifflera. I don't have one of these. I used to have one of these like in the beginning, like four years ago, five years ago. And it was doing really, really good. It's pretty slow, but I had it in low light, in a low light spot. But I got rid of it. I don't know what happened to it. It was we, we we move a lot, you guys. So I lose a lot of plants. I give a lot of them away. Like people help me out, like my grandma, my mom, um, tios and tias. And when they see a plant, cause like they're helping me like box up the things. Like oh, it's a pretty plant, and I'm like, well, take it, girl. Go take it home. And they do. So yeah. But the best part is I have more space to buy more plants to do more plant shopping videos with y'all. So win-win so many beautiful plants you guys again this location is really far <laughs> it's like the opposite of town where i live but girl i'm gonna be coming here a lot more often because there was another lowe's nearby and 
they had some really really good stuff i'm always trying to find some like sports variegation but i never have any luck <laughs> really strong the um, Starbucks espresso the little cans yeah those are like <laughs> those always wake, wake me up so there's this beautiful different back here I know there's a camouflage one that looks pretty similar to this but I don't I don't know please let me know if you know I don't know what this one's called it that doesn't look like a camouflage to me that one's more freckles which I will show you guys one like that but that was a beautiful different bakia and like i said the one that i have it's doing good girl so i'm kind of really excited and i'm getting close to buy another different bakia i'm still holding on to it because like I, I i have a history of killing different bakias but this one's doing really really good the one that i have is called camouflage this beautiful rubber tree for 16 dollars such a cute planter like again these are some really cool stuff to give as gifts for parties i know like some of you guys do that but and, and i know that people do that but i've never really like put my mindset on like actually wanting to do that and i usually just give my own plants away like my like i just i, I try to find a really, a really pretty plant and i give it to my grandma or to my tia whenever i visit them but i never really thought of going to the stores and getting like an, you know selecting a plant for them like that but a lot of these planters are really cute like oh my goodness i know miss plants expensive like that's a 19 dollars money tree you can get a bigger one for that but it's really really cute here's a snake plant so pretty cute and i just got a text but i can't open it it's because i'm currently doing a swap i propagated my um barricaded scandapsis and this girl has a sport barricaded peace lily girl I want it so bad. The thing is, I don't know. These are really, these are really cool planters that like wouldn't. They're not really heavy though, which is great because like, we don't want something too heavy. And it's sixteen dollars. I was telling my brother like this is really cool. And it's a succulent on top, by the way, with some fake sphagnum moss. But I don't know if she can come over. I, to I just told her right now, and she sent me an address. So I think she might want to meet up like at a you know in an HEB or a Walmart somewhere public, or if she wants me to go over there with her. But this is a camouflage different back here. It's the one that I have. It's gorgeous. Here's a Puddles Enjoy. Looking a little bit messed up. But I like how it has a macrame hanger. Like that's really, really cool. Um, here's a cyclone fern. We got like, she tells me like, I don't usually like to like drive. We were just driving the entire day, you guys. But for that sports burger facility, I'm willing to drive. The thing is she has it in Lekka. And I've never ever in my life messed with Lekka. So I'm gonna um, move it to soil, but I don't know how that's gonna work out. So if you guys have an experience, like let me know. She said it, it would be fine, that it won't be, I won't have any problems. So yeah, cause I don't, I don't know about Lego girl. My mom literally just texted me saying, I want to get more plants, I don't have enough. <gasps> girl, why is she telling me that? I, ugh, I'm gonna tell her right now she wants to go plant shopping. Okay. Yeah, these potos enjoy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. They hurt my stomach, I'm sorry. I had, <laughs> like I told you, we made little ledges. It's really, really easy, y'all. Um, if you wanna see a video, let me know, girl, I got you. Uh, and it's three ledges, girl. And I'm lost with intolerant, so like my stomach is like being loud. <laughs> oh, different bakias are so pretty, guys. They're like aglominias, I love aglominias. They're like different bakias, but like easier. And I have a lot of aglominias. I should probably do a video about it and i want to get every aglominia out there i literally got to i went on etsy yesterday and i was trying to find every aglominia that i can find and i added it to my wish list <laughs> and this is a camouflage y'all the different bucket camouflage and there's a little baby on the side super cute and i believe this is 22.98 which isn't bad uh let's double check yes 22.98 that is not bad you get a really really pretty plant and you get a catch pot with and the cat the pots are really like they're just so cool i like how they, they have designs for everybody like some neutral ones some that like have like a pop of color i didn't even notice that y'all like he was i think he was showing me like the dead or like thirsty birdness fern here's an aristonia i was telling him it's also known as a swiss cheese plant and he was because of the holes and i was like yes it's a lot of cheese but it's an aristonia 
pretty cool. I like when they look bushy, but I'm not a big fan when they start to vine. Um, I gotta find the vocabulary, like between the leaf and the node, like the middle part. I don't know what that's called. Stem? It's not a stem. But I like it when it's too long. <laughs> and then here is this. I say bamboo, but it's not bamboo, it's something else. But the planter is really cute. And I think it's the same price. <laughs> Can y'all hear the fan? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, girl. Here's another different Bakia. They're killing it. Look at that, you guys. Oh my lord. And he was holding the Hoya for me because I needed it for the thumbnail. And I was like, I want to use it, but outside for a thumbnail. So he was holding for me. And I kind of like low key wanted it. I was like, should I take it? Should I not? I had one of these Hoyas, but I left it at my grandma's. And she keeps telling me, like, you can always go over and, like, take cuttings or you just take the whole plant. And I'm like, girl, but those are yours. But she's like, mijo, just take one. And I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. So I see, I gotta see when I can go again. I, I don't want to take a full plant. Um, I want to take some cuttings of something because I'm pretty sure a lot of the plants have grown a lot. And the core is loud, girl. And then there's another the camouflage, different back here. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Like... And it's one of my favorite um, cash pots. <clears throat> New leaf looks kind of sad. Also, it's, it was really busy, y'all. Like, these big box stores are, like, always packed. And it's a Monday, girl. Which makes me really happy. Because, like, it means people, like, are enjoying the, the warm temperatures right now. And I think somebody commented a while back saying that she, she had a, a, a hard freeze, a cold freeze. So she had to put her plants inside. That is crazy. Like, I'm over here in Texas and it's hot. It's really, really hot. It's really humid. And, um, are you guys like, let me know, like, how the weather is for y'all. Like, is it windy? I know in Corpus it's always windy. Um, but here in San Antonio, Texas, it is humid and hot. <laughs> so, yeah. By the way, I just showed you a Moonlight Scandapsis. Those are $20. Those are really, really fun. Here's a fiddle, $26.98, or fiddly fig. I just call them fiddles because like the name's kind of cute, fiddle. So many beautiful orchids. Always looking so gorgeous, beautiful. No one didn't have a price, but there's another one. There are similar to have prices. Like this one is $38.98. I know those are pretty popular um, to give us gifts. I like how some of them have like arrangements. Like there's like a mix of plants. Like um, usually they have like a, some sort of philodendron or potos or a drancina or a singonia. <laughs> I was showing him the, the little mister. They're just super cute, the little misters. They're glass, they're actually glass. Here are some orchids for the orchid lovers. And I did not took a plant. I really, really wanted to, but I had to make some groceries and there is no money right now for <laughs> for plants. And I think we're gonna go outside right now. Outside, they have some really good stuff outside. Here we are, here's me taking the thumbnail. But yeah, girl, like I had to do some groceries and the car payment is coming up and I am not trying to get my car towed. Damn. So <laughs> no plants, but if I did have money, I would have gotten the Prince of Orange, the Moonlight, I think it's called Moonlight. This one, the very bright greenish. This, yeah, Moonlight Philodendron. I would have gotten one of those. And I would have gotten the Tricolor Syngonium. I mean, the, oh my God, sorry. Tricolor, Tricolor? The Hoya from the thumbnail. I would have gotten that one. And um, 
I think that's it for this location. But that's what I would have gotten. But never know, never know. Is it really pretty? I see them a lot. I know a lot of people use this for the yards. So those are fun. Here's the Prince of Orange. Looking very handsome. Is this Prince of Orange? Right? It is Prince of Orange. A little bit of variegation, and it'll look like a a strawberry. I know there's a uh, philodendron, strawberry, something like that. It's like very good, it's whatever the word. But it's expensive, it's expensive. There was more cool plants in the back, but the lady was in the back, what are the plants? And I was trying to like hold off, like you guys see me like going to like the outer section. Like, cause they have some really, really pretty plants. I don't wanna, I don't like, I, I try not to be next to employees or to people, cause I try to like put my feet in their shoes and that would make me uncomfortable if someone was next to me with their phone out, you know? So I try to like, you know, just be like, give them space, so like wait for them to move and then I'll go over there. But, um, you know, yeah, she was busy. She has to water a lot of plants. Yo, this is a foxtail palm. The foliage, it's beautiful. It looks kind of sick, but this is gorgeous. Like, I don't know what it is, but it looks very tropical. Obviously, it's from the tropics, but it has a lot of character, I guess you can say. I just, I really, really do like it a lot. And then here are some fiddles, some palms, some corn plants. This corn plant that I'm going to show you right now was huge. I think I'm, I, I'm like 5'11". I think I'm, I'm six feet. I don't even know, but I'm, I'm pretty tall. And this was like my height for $50. Like, and they put that on sale for $25. Are you kidding? But even then, $50 with this massive coin plant. Can y'all see how busy it was? <laughs> that was a line around the cashiers. I feel so bad for those cashiers. But they have so many pretty plants. Like, if I had a yard, this weather would have made me go outside right now. And like, I would just be planting. But. It was so beautiful, it was so beautiful. Lots of great plants. I told him to put it right there. Cause like, we got it inside, and again, I know some people get mad when I move plants around. <laughs> Cause I would like get a plant from my shelf and then I'll put it to a different shelf. Um, and people would get mad. I used to get really nasty comments. And I'd be like, you know what, it's true. Like I should have put it back, right? But I left it outside because when it's really, really pretty. Okay, and then I want people, you know, it's eye poppy, like, try to get it sold, try to get it adopted already. Here are some beautiful caladiums. And number two, it's a Hoya. It's a Hoya. So Hoyas need a lot of light. Not direct, but indirect. And it was very bright outside. And it's very humid outside. And Hoyas love humidity. Okay. Um, that's from what I noticed. So I know it's going to do a lot better outside. So I was trying to make the, was trying to give the Hoya I was gonna say flavor. Oh my god, I'm so burned out. Uh, a favor. <laughs> but caladiums are really, really pretty. Here are some, those are some vincas. I'm pretty sure they're called vincas. They're beautiful altar flowers. I love vincas. They're actually, they can actually be hardy where we're at. I think we're in zone eight or nine here in San Antonio, Texas. Here are some hostas. These are gorgeous. If you have a shady spot outside of your background or in your front yard, these are really, really good. Um, they can also handle like direct light, but they don't like the intense, so like not the afternoon, is that what you call it? Like only morning lights and when the sun, like sunset, you know? That kind of light. Because light is light, but with the sun, there's UV rays, and some plants are pretty sensitive with that, so yeah. But hostas are beautiful. Y'all, we're gonna be moving pretty soon. Next month is going to be June. And we kept looking at homes. There's like an application called Residential Pro Progress or Progress Residential. And you like pay like, I think like $10 a month or whatever, which I, my mom was like, that's a scam, but I don't really care. And um, you can tour homes. Like you don't gotta talk to anybody. And you just put, you gotta verify obviously like your driver license and like various verification. But after that, you can like tour the homes without like asking permission, whatever, like, and then like there's like these locks, you put the code from the lock and it will give you the passcode to walk in. 
and I like it a lot because I'm an introvert. Here are some tri-star stromantes, you guys, and there was a mushroom growing on the side, which means the soil is rich. Like, it's, it's really good. So that was really, really cool to see that. And I was telling my brother if he, if he knows what that meant, and surprisingly, he does, which is pretty cool. Here are some variegated ginger lilies. They're just so pretty. They're so pretty. People put them in their yards, y'all. I know some of you guys told me they got put them in your yards and they're pretty invasive. Like, oh my god. Here's a canna. I love cannas. I love cannas. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to move. But yeah, we've been looking at homes just for funsies and to see what's in the area. We have two neighborhoods that we, we like a lot. And they're super duper close to easy, um, my boyfriend's job. So that's to go as well because he's tired of driving on the highway and they're always adding new homes so like that's where like we're like looking to the neighborhoods already but that is basically it for today you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this slowed down chit chat very chit chat video <laughs> if you did enjoy it give it a big thumbs up to let me know let me know which plant you guys will take home and if you do actually want to go to this location two things one the script the address is in the description box below so you can go and see and um this is a recent video so like if you've seen it within 24 hours or within three days there's like still a really high chance that the plant you saw is still gonna be there and the other thing is take a picture and like tag me on instagram or facebook and like let me like see what you get girl because like i'm nosy but that's basically it, you guys send the positive advice to each and every one of you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye